Okay, uh, I'm Simon C. Uh, I'm the Chief Solution Architect for uh, Asia Pack uh, for NVIDIA. The GP GPU originally was designed basically for uh, graphics. However, over the years, it has been uh, developed into a general purpose uh, processor. The basic idea is this, is that when the GPU was being designed, it was people found out that it can be used as a general purpose because it was a um, what we call a matrix vectors calculation. Now, uh, originally when we design uh, software, we design it on a serial basis, it's one straight line. If we can run it in parallel, basically if we can run it in sometimes into small little pieces and all running at the same time, then we can run it faster. That's how GPGPU comes comes about. Uh, people need to find a better way of simulating it faster, and that's where that's where GPGPU comes about and able to help it to accelerate the, the progress tremendously. In the previous generation, it was about five hundred and twelve call. Uh, the Kepler generation is a thousand over calls, and in the Kepler two will be two thousand over calls. So these are the all the new technology that's coming in. Uh, someone over in Stanford University uh, found that well, we could actually use uh, GPU, GPU and the graphics processor uh, as a compute engine, right? And then what happened was that people to start develop software because initially programming on GPU, GPU was very difficult, it was tough because there was no software environment for it. It was a graphics processor, and then people start to want to use it, but they find it very difficult. And when Puga was born, people were able to use it, but still pretty tough. 2.0 is getting better, 3.0 yes of course it's better and now we have 5.0. The version 5 has tremendous uh, potential because one of the things was that it's not only a, uh, a library, a SDK for people to do programming, it also has features, things will be like allow ones to talk from one GPU to G next GPU. It has features like what we call dynamic parallelism where inside the, the, the GPU itself you were able to have many many threads running so you have like nested parallelism going uh going out so you have this all this feature so there are many other features which is make the new generation of uh, gpu much much easier to use okay the original gpu was optimized for opengl opengl is a standard basically for people doing graphics the architecture itself is a fixed pipeline and that's why when you want to program it for uh, computation, for general purpose computation, it's very difficult. What happened is that NVIDIA has converted into a general purpose computation. So everything is done within the software la layers. We will see more and more integrations uh, between uh, GPUs and also uh, some of the uh, CPU technology, right? I mean, there are projects uh, within NVIDIA itself that look at how can we actually have ARM's processor together with GPU working together. But going in the future, if we could have some form of integration with different technology itself, then it will make uh, the GPU even more uh, general. We're also going to invest a lot into the software layers, things like the OpenACC, which makes the programming on GPU much easier. Basically, is that as a programmer, you don't have to know too much about the hardware. Right? At the moment right now, you need to know about more about the hardware, but in the future, Hopefully, OpenCC, we were able to make it less known to the user. We have a lot of other collaborators that develop new technology like from the scripting language, like from Python, to work together with CUDA and make CUDA, in fact, more transparent to the user. You will see that more and more are going into embedded systems. One example will be like the people in the US, uh, in the defense sectors, they are looking at a remote sensor they're able to put in a GPU so that they can actually do uh, analysis uh, remotely. Things like if you are sent to satellites or on a UAV or whatsoever, uh, and GPU GPU inside that, you're able to do the processing very, very quickly. Uh, when a GPU GPU uses less power, you are able to embed those things into machines or embedded systems or, and, and so forth. We could see is that there are more and more applications going to it. It's no more just on a PC, it's on the embedded systems.